Hey, what's up, guys? Bearcat here. Doing another exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews, and today we're taking a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Supreme Cobra Commander Hasbro Pulse exclusive figure from PulseCon. I gotta say, guys, I'm very excited to get this for you guys. Uh, I did pre-order this and wait till it came in because I wasn't able to score it during the PulseCon, but I knew you guys probably would enjoy this review once I got it. So here's the box for the thing. It's a very nice box, as you can see. Shows Snake Supreme Cover Commander on the front there. Throw it throw. When we launch the side, it shows this nice art decal on the side here. Which if I shine this light on it, you can see a little better. If my light doesn't get in the way of it. So as you can see, it's really nice art design. And on the back, you get some more of that beautiful art design, which actually does slide with the box here. So you can see. Some more on the side here. And then on top it says it's number nine. And not much else on the bottom. And if I slide this off, you can see it's got even more intricate designs on it. There of the Cobra. On the side here, it's got the same readout that you always see on Cobra Commander. You know, level level four and commanding and uh, mind uh, mind control and all that. And then like level one light weapons. And so now on this side, you can see is the art image you saw on the front of the box. I'll turn off the light so you can see it better. There you go. Now on the back, you got more of that nice art design. And then if you do come around to the front and then you open it up, you can see the Snake Supreme there in all his glory. But now let's get to it and crack open this figure. So here is the Serpent Supreme out of the packaging. I gotta say, guys, this is an amazing figure. I'm really liking this figure a lot more than... The original Cobra Commander, just because all the accessories that he comes with, I'm really loving. And this cape is really nice, too. But so getting into that with the accessories, first you only want to take a look at his down at this, his stuff down here. As you can see, he comes with a serpent staff, which he does hold. Everything can be held in either his trigger finger hand or in his open hand. So as you can see, he can just slip this staff Got to open up his hand a little more so you can get the pommel around there. But yeah, see, you can put that in his hand there. And then he does come with the classic sword, just like he did with the other figures, but it's repainted gold and red, which has this really nice sheen to it. And that can get holstered right here in the sheath. And then he also comes with a new gun, which is this nice laser pistol looking gun. Which I like more than the Cobra gun, personally, just because I, it's a little smaller. But I also like it more because it actually comes with a holster for it. And you can just holster it right here on his side. If I can actually get it in, the holster. There we go. So he can carry his weapons. And then he comes with two interchangeable hands, which is no different from the other Cobra Commander because he came with the same hand. It's four sets of hands, open hand, trigger finger hand, fisted hand, and pointer hand. But the nice thing about the open hand with this one is he actually comes with this mini golden globe here, which you can actually have him holding it. So it looks like he's holding the world in his palm. Has the world in the palm of his hands. So as you can see there. So you can do a lot of different nice evil emperor poses with him with these accessories. But now we're going to get into the articulation of the figure. So, but like I said, also you can see he's got this nice new gold trim and the design you saw on the box is actually on the chest. And I think the back too, if I remember. Yep, it's on the back there. Even on the side of the boots and everything. So he's got Cobra logos everywhere. But anyways, so let's get into our articulation. The cape doesn't really interfere much with, if at all, with the articulation, which is really nice. And this cape has this nice scaly look on the black back. It's a fabric cape. It's one of those few fabric capes that I actually like because it just feels nice. But taking a look here, so you can see, he his arms can move up that far. You can see the cape's on the little Velcro strap around there. Move down that far. Let me stretch these strap. I said the wrong thing. Bicep swivel, double joint elbows. All hands sole and all hands hinge up and down. Uh, he has butterfly joints. Head can look up that far and down that far. A little bit of bobble there and some rotation all around. 
it has a crunch and you crunch forward that much and back really far but it looks kind of weird kick forward that much back not very far spread is pretty good hinge up and down at the hips thigh sole double joint knees boot rotation ankles move down and up and he has ankle pivot so that's really it for the articulation for the Super Serpent Supreme Commander guys. So now we'll get them all set up to do some size comparisons. And here is Cobra Commander. And he is standing in. At just under six and a half inches tall. And for your size comparisons. Here he is next to our last figure review. The Star Wars Clone Wars Black Series. Ahsoka Tano. Here he is next to the mainline release Cobra Commander figure. So you can see how they scale together. Here he is next to Duke. Here he is next to Destro. Here he is next to Beachhead. Here he is next to the Cobra Infantry Trooper. Here he is, next to Scarlet. So you can see that. Here he is, next to Zartan. So you can see how they scale together. Here he is, next to the Amazon Prime exclusive Storm Shadow. So you can see that. For your basic six inch scale comparison, here he is next to Studio Series Hot Rod. Toy Fair Deluxe Exclusive Snake Eyes. And Star Wars The Clone Wars Captain Rex. So you can see how they all scale together. And here is Cobra Commander telling his men to move out. And I gotta say, guys, this is an amazing figure. Uh, I am really loving posing this figure, and I do highly re recommend getting this figure if you are a fan of G.I. Joe or if you're a fan of collecting these uh, Cobra characters or J Joe classified line. I do recommend getting this guy because he will be a great fit for your collections. But like I said, he was a PulseCon exclusive, so he will be a little hard to get. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys again for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's something you want to see reviewed. And I'll try again and review it for you guys. And uh, let me know if there's something I can do for the channel. And I'll do it. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys again for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews.